When you think of a typical blacksmith, you probably think of a burly man wielding a hammer, hot metal, and an anvil. Busting those stereotypes is one goal of a festival at the UW Lacrosse. News 19's Warren Sears met up with a professional blacksmith creating art through these creative imperative festival, as it's called. And uh, Warren, uh, show us what you saw. Hi, Scott. The Creative Imperative Festival is intended to spark a conversation about arts and communications. It's also to connect students and faculty with regionally, nationally, and internationally renowned artists. Artists that even take us into the fiery inferno that is metalworking. Our theme this year is women and women in the arts and in society. Which is why metalworking master Megan Crowley was invited to this year's Creative Imperatives Festival at UWL. I'm sort of known in my field for organic and fluid forms and I use sheet metal a lot which is a little different than some other blacksmithing techniques. People maybe wouldn't think, oh, metalsmithing, uh, maybe I wouldn't have ever thought that a woman would do that and she's making a living at it making a living out of an industry that some might think is cooling down. Most young people are don't identify with doing handwork as much as maybe I did when I was growing up, so I think it's important that the arts are supported to encourage that so we don't lose that. And this metalworking seminar has made an impact on some of the art students on campus. I think it's just really cool to try new forms and new mediums that I'm not used to because I'm used to painting and drawing, so it was very different. It's interesting to see other perspectives of how I can bring bring her work into my work here. Work that doesn't feel like work to Megan. I like that it's physical, I like that it's hot, it's kind of like working with clay that you can't touch. I like the environment, it's kind of dirty and loud and I feel comfortable in it. Megan owns a metalwork company in Colorado and says that metalworking has actually gained momentum and is making a comeback in popularity. Others, other featured guests and prominent female, female artists at the festival included rapper and singer Dezza and composer <laughs> Ingrid Stetzel. All right, thanks Warren. This is the seventh year the UWL has hosted the Creative Imperatives Festival and judging by its success, they plan to continue it in the years to come.